Mrs. Did Scott. you sexually assault a woman in Monterey, California? I have, uh, as far as the media is concerned, uh, I'll keep this very simple. The matter was fully investigated, and I was completely clear, and that's probably leader. Thank you very much. How do you address Thank concerns you. about your lack of pentagon experience? Pete Hexett is U.S. Army veteran with 20 years of active service experience and a Fox News presenter who has been picked by President-elect Donald Trump to lead the most prestigious and all-powerful Pentagon, the Department of Defense, in Trump to administration. By being at that position, he will head a department which employs over 3 million people, largest in the world. However, his nomination is subject to the confirmation by U.S. Senate. A recent controversy in an old case of illicit sexual assault has given an ammunition in the hands of his critics and opponents to fire at the combatant. There are speculative reports that Trump transition team may reconsider his nomination as defense secretary. However, the Caroline Levitt, Trump once transition spokeswoman, issued a statement and I quote, the report corroborates what Mr. Hexeth attorneys have said all along. The incident was fully investigated and no charges were filed because police found the allegations to be false. Pete Hexeth is a highly respected combat veteran who will honorably serve our country when he is confirmed as the next Secretary of Defense, just like he honorably served our country on the battlefield in uniform. Before we talk inside out of the illicit sexual assault, let us first have a look at the career of 44-year-old Fox News political commentator presenter since 2014, who after being nominated for the post resigned from Fox News. Hexeth was born on June 6, 1980 in Minneapolis, Minnesota to Brian, a basketball coach and Penny Hexeth. Both are of Norwegian descent. He attended Forest Lake Area High School where he played football and basketball, graduating in 1999 as well a dictorian of his class. Hexeth went on to receive his Bachelor's of Arts degree in politics at Princeton University in 2003. While there, he wrote for the Princeton Tory magazine and played basketball for the Tigers under coach John Thompson III. The team made the NCAA tournament in 2001. In 2013, he received a Master of Public Policy from John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University. In 2003, Hexed joined Bear Estians as an equity capital markets analyst and was also commissioned as an infantry officer in the Minnesota National Guard. In 2004, his unit was called to Guantanamo Bay Naval Base under the operational control of the 3rd Battalion, 187th Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division, where he served as an infantry platoon leader and was awarded the Army Commendation Medal. Shortly after returning from Cuba, Hexed volunteered to serve in Baghdad and Samara, Iraq, where he served first as an infantry platoon leader and later as civil military operations officer. During his time in Iraq, he was awarded the Bronze Star Medal, Combat Infantryman Badge and a Second Army Commendation Medal. However, soon after his nomination as Secretary of Defense, a controversy erupted regarding death of three detainees at Samara. According to Washington Post, during an operation to hunt suspected Al-Qaeda militants, American soldiers involved notified their commanders that they had just killed three detainees who, they said, had broken free of their restraints and attacked them. The soldier had been in combat for months in Samara, a city about 80 miles northwest of Baghdad, where a BCS insurgency had taken hold. The detainee's death on May 9, 2006 triggered an extensive U.S. military investigation leading to court-martials, two murder convictions and a career-ending letter of reprimand for Colonel Michael Steele, the troop's brigade commander. In the end, those found guilty acknowledged under oath that they had lied about the detainee's escape and instead set them loose and shot them in the back as they ran away. Hexeth was a 26-year-old lieutenant in the Army National Guard when he joined that unit, the 101st Airborne Division's 3rd Brigade Combat Team, in summer 2005, just ahead of its deployment. Though he was not present during the murders and had no role in them, the incident was formidable. Other soldiers said, with men he grew to care about and sneered in the case. Hex had returned to active duty in 2012 as captain. According to sources, he was deployed to Afghanistan with the Minnesota Army National Guard and acted as a senior countenance agency instructor at the countenance agency training center in Kabul. In 2014, Hex had was promoted to the rank of major and left active duty to be assigned to the Army Individual Ready Reserve. In 2019, Hex had rejoined the National Guard after five years in the Individual Ready Reserve. In 2022, Hexeth escorted another controversy when he volunteered as one of up to 25,000 National Guard troops authorized by the Pentagon to be put on active duty to protect the inauguration of Joe Biden on January 20th, 2021, but was one of the 12 soldiers removed from that mission. A tattoo reading deuce bolt on Hexeth's bicep was considered a symbol of extremism, while Hexeth attributed deuce bolt tattoo being Jerusalem cross tattoo. 
In January 2024, he officially resigned from the National Guard's Individual Ready Reserve. His last day in uniform was 31st March 2021. Hexeth worked briefly at the Manhattan Institute for Policy Research. In 2012, Hexeth formed the Political Action Committee (MNPAC), which was closed in 2018. Hexeth was the executive director for Concerned Veterans for America, an advocacy group. He was considered to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs in the first Trump administration prior to the selection of David Shelkin in 2017. In 2012, Hexeth ran for the Republican nomination for the U.S. Senate seat in Minnesota, but later he withdrew and Kurt Bills won the nomination. During the 2016 Republican presidential primaries, Hexeth initially backed Marco Rubio, then Ted Cruz, and ultimately Donald Trump. Since then, Hexeth has emerged as a strong Trump supporter. In 2019, Hexeth ran campaign to pardon veterans for war crimes that eventually led President Trump to pardon three service members accused of war crimes. When President-elect Donald Trump announced his choice in November 2024, Hexeth's critics opposed with allegations that Hexeth will be a crusader against his and party's political opponents and that would bring actions perceived for country's enemy equal to the domestic enemies. His critics say he may have served 20 years as combatant but not at high positions to understand and deliver as required for the post as IS Secretary of Defense. Controversies have started erupting about a 2017 case of sexual assault when now a police report is being made public. According to the allegations, an unidentified woman named as Jane Doe told police that she was sexually assaulted in 2017 by Pete Hexeth after he took her phone, blocked the door to a California hotel room and refused to let her leave. However, Hexeth had told police at the time that the encounter had been consensual and denied any wrongdoing, the report said. Hexeth even paid the woman an undisclosed amount in 2013 in a non-disclosure agreement to save his Fox News job. According to a 22-page Monterey Police Department report accessed by your channel National Defense, the woman's partner who was staying at the hotel with her told police that he was worried about her that night after she did not come back to their room. At 2 a.m. he went to the hotel bar but she was not there. She made it back a few hours later apologizing that she must have fallen asleep. A few days later, she told him she had been sexually assaulted. The woman who helped organize the California Federation of Republican Women gathering at which Hexeth spoke told police she had witnessed the TV anchor acting inappropriately throughout the night and saw him stroking multiple women's thigh. Police investigation, including witnesses account and CCTV footage, mobile text messages concludes many contradictions in victim Jane Doe's allegations that shows the sexual encounter between the two was consensual. However, to avoid any backlash during Me Too movement, Hexeth agreed to pay the woman. Hexeth amid controversy and media reports that Trump transition team working on his backup as defense secretary appeared before media and said he was cleared in the police report. What do you think of Pete Hexeth's nomination as US Secretary of Defense? Will he live up to the expectations of Donald Trump, whose last tenure saw five defense secretaries in four years? Do write your opinion in the comment box and also the place from where you are watching this video. Thanks for watching National Defense. Jai Hind Vande Matram.